All right, what are we working on today? The old boat trailer. Rollers are worn out. Hey. So I ordered new rollers, and I'll show you here, there's not enough room for the, to put the pin on. So I'm having to take and mill, mill that out so that this washer will recess in it and off that I can put the new pin on. So I'll show you how I'm doing it. In the garage. The way to do this with a Forster bit, a Forstner bit, because the Forstner bit cuts a perfectly smooth flat bottom hole. And just to show you, I went to the hardware and I bought this piece of uh, PVC fitting, a little carriage bolt, and I bolted that right to the center of my drill table. That lets the wheel center perfectly every time. I just lowered this down and eyeballed it for depth of cut, so it cuts to the same depth every time and then fix the table in that position. So, pop that on there. sitting right there. Anyway, there we go. She's milled just perfect. Nice smooth centered hole. So here we go. And that's the whole purpose for milling it out is milling it for, to, to accept this washer. And now the pin the holes for the pin are right there. I'm going to be able to, I got to do a dozen of these. So, yeah, that's a little do-it-yourself thing because I had to order these wheels from the states, right? And they're they're the perfect wheel uh, except for the depth of them, the thickness. They're a little thicker than the old guys, so I, I can't return these, so. Just gonna mill them. Once they're milled, they're perfect. That's today's little project. Well, I finished these up. I got all 12. You can see how that was milled out, right? But now I still have all these rollers and clips I have to take off. There's a dozen rollers on this boat, so I gotta start. I'm going to go around and remove all these old clips. I've got brand new clips. I'm going to be reusing these washers on everyone, but I'm going to be putting new clips on and the new rollers. So I'm going to get busy doing that. Alright, so I got a hammer and I also got a screwdriver with this little bit narrower blade. Maybe it'll fit in there a little better. One down and another ten to go. 
Okay, this is probably going to look crazy, but uh, these axles, they're just aluminum. And I'm finding when I'm prying out those uh, steel clips, on the one there, I had a little piece of that aluminum break out. So I can't afford to break the end of this to where the clip isn't going to be able to hold in there anymore. So I'm going to cut all these damn clips with the angle grinder. It's going to take me a lot longer, but I'll cut every clip with the zip disc and that way I'm not going to damage that axle. pretty quick very quick and no no chance of busting out chipping out this right okay carrying on Funny thing, uh, I get down to the last of these clips, right? And the brother-in-law looks, look, he's watching me and he says, yeah, he says, you know, uh, you could probably do that with a set of bolt cutters. <laughs> and I had, a, I've got a big set of bolt cutters in my garage that would have cut these clips in a nanosecond compared to friggin' around like this. But <laughs> I was on the last one, I was the hell that I just went ahead and used the zip cutter, right? But, oh man, the bolt cutters would have been the way to go. Well, I got clips done on uh, those four tires down the middle there. And they are one royal pain to do when you're in under the boat, laying on your back. Those are a uh, real pain, especially because the boat's still on the trailer, right? Doing them from the outside here is going to be a lot easier. Like what we did earlier? Yeah, he was asking me what you were interrupting when I said to do this, and you didn't get quite the right whatever the axle, and you had to Another one done. take a little bit of rubber off. Well, so you had to drill mill, you? milling out those wheels was easy. Yeah, I had to mill every one. See that? Because these were too thick. They were too thick this way, so I had to take a Forstner bit and mill that. So all of them, they're all milled, right? You didn't see that. And that's so the washer will recess into them, and, the, and then the clip fit, because these axles are a little shorter yeah. than the oh, thickness okay, of that, yeah. you see. So when he put that wheel on, he couldn't get the pin on, then, so he had to... Uh, had anyway... To whatever, mill it out or however he says it. We just got to finish up putting the rest of these rollers and clips on, and. I'll shut the camera off here while, right, while we get that done. That wheel on wrong. Well, looky there. Got all new rollers. I added a new uh, center keel roller. And we've uh, dropped the, off the jack stands. She's sitting right the way she's supposed yeah, to. Doesn't want to go down. What's you really talking? That guy? Yeah. Oh, no big deal. Step on it. There you go. So, yeah, we're good here. I guess it wouldn't. I mean, I must be too light. That's probably what it is. <laughs> anyway. He got more muscle. True. Anyway, our, our trailer rail rollers are all changed. It's beautiful. There's something I see now that I've got brand new rollers. This middle keel roller, she's not touching anymore. I either need to replace that roller or 
Um, I, I don't think I don't think there's any play left there to raise that higher. But that's another day. We'll get to that anyway. And if it looks like I changed my shirt here, that's because I did. I didn't want to get grease on my nice uh, Katmai Alaska shirt. That's a wrap.